Hello, friends and family of YouTube. You've been wondering if solar is a good investment to buy for your home, a good size solar package. I hope to answer that question for you today. I know if you watch Dave Ramsey and many other channels, they tell you absolutely no, it's a waste of money. And I will tell you today a couple of scenarios of how it is a good investment and why it might be a bad investment depending on what size solar package you get and what you're trying to do with it. Now, if you're one of these people that go completely nerd on uh, solar and you like to talk about a lot of high tech numbers and all this stuff related to solar, this is probably not gonna be the video for you. This is gonna be the video for the complete beginner that has a lot of questions. So I hope to not try to get you confused today, but I hope to answer everything that you've been asking yourself. So up on the roof of my house, I have a thousand watts of solar panels that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. I have four lithium batteries by Power Queen. A Duracell 3000 watt power inverter. And this is the charge controller that I am using. So for me to prove that this is not a waste of money. I need to talk about a couple of scenarios. So let's talk about the first one. Let's imagine that the uh, power has has went out, whether you had a tornado nearby, hurricane nearby, or um, maybe just something wrong with the power grid. know about you but I do not want to listen to that for a substantial amount of time last time we had a power outage here it was for 10 days we had a tornado that came nearby and that tornado took out a lot of the power grid so we had to listen to a generator for 10 days and we had to go chasing after gasoline and with there being power grid outages we did not have gas stations nearby that was open, so we had to go into another state to actually get us some gasoline. So in that scenario, you've always gonna have to keep some gasoline on hand. The generator itself cost right at $400. And uh, I guess the question is, how valuable is it of having to chase down gasoline or keep gasoline on hand at all times, just in case you need it? So now let's talk about what I can do with this solar package that I have. Now, please keep in mind when I mention solar today that it is based on best case scenario that you have full sun, no cloudy skies, no, no snow on the solar panels, uh, just the basic stuff of you've got to have sun to make the best case scenario. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. So you probably still do want to have the generator when it's not such a nice sunshiny day. All right, so here is my standard refrigerator freezer combo that you'll find in most any home. I can run this on my solar package that I have. I also have a uh, small deep freezer that uh, I can also run this on my solar package at the same time and during the summertime from about 11 a.m. till about 6 p.m. maybe even 6 30 I can run this window air conditioning unit and man that that right there is worth it to me that's worth this whole thing is being able to run this window air conditioner during a power outage now this is kind of the segue into the second scenario that I want to talk about. So the second scenario I want to discuss is saving on utilities. So I run that window air conditioner during the summer to cut down on my electrical cost. It also helps to kind of save from overrunning my, my air conditioner that I do have hooked up to uh, the electrical grid. So I'm not running it full blast all the time during the summer. This way I am running this window unit on the solar package and being able to save a lot of money throughout the summer. 
Then when winter time comes, I unhook the uh, window air conditioner and I hook up the refrigerator or the deep freezer. I can run either one of them all throughout the winter months as long as I have my solar panels without any, uh, any shade over them, any kind of uh, any shadows or anything like that. And I can also run my TV year round on this solar package as well. If you imagine like, let's say that you've had a um, power outage because of maybe tornadoes, hurricanes, or whatever, flooding, whatever's going on, you're probably gonna wanna stay up to date with the news, even though most of the time the news channels tell us lies, they will at least tell you a little bit of truth when it comes to uh, natural disasters. So if you're asking yourself, why do people say that solar packages are a waste of money? Now I will tell you why. If you are trying to completely get your home to where you are covered from one end of your house to the other, running your hair dryer, your microwave, your stove, your refrigerator, freezer, water heater, all that stuff. If you're trying to run everything on solar, yes, it's a waste of money in my opinion, or it will take a very long time for it to pay itself off. Now I can run a lot of different things that I didn't go over with you uh, today on my solar package. Uh, man, it's, it's a long list of stuff that you can run. So uh, I can't go over everything, but I will tell you for the most part, I could not run like a hair dryer or curling irons and that kind of thing, unless it was in the middle of the day. Uh, what you have to really understand about solar is um, during the middle of the day when you have peak sun, the sun being at the highest point coming right down onto your solar panels, that's when you get to utilize your solar package the most. During the uh, dark nighttime hours, uh, you're basically relying on your batteries. And, um, you know, I don't have a big battery package uh, that you noticed uh, from what I told you, I have four lithium batteries. So I don't have a lot of storage when it comes to that. But to the original question, is solar a waste of money or not? Well, on my camper, I have 200 watts of solar panels up on the roof and I have two lithium batteries that I'm able to do a lot of functions with inside this camper. And man, that is definitely a good value for the money that I spent on this solar package for this camper. And using the solar package that I have on my home, the way I use it, it is definitely a great deal to me. I would definitely do it again. I guess uh, my solar package, if you went out and was to try to purchase it again today, you would probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of about $2,000. And uh, I definitely get my money's worth because I do year, use it year round. And because the batteries are rated to last up to 10 years, I'm definitely gonna get my money's worth. What do you think, Kiki girl? Is solar a good investment? Huh? Would you like to have some solar panels up on your house? Maybe have you a fan in here, have your little TV going, refrigerator? In case y'all are wondering, Kiki Girl has her own little house. I got it set up high where she can do some hunting and be able to see uh, from all over. But yes, if, if you're thinking about using solar completely in your home to, from one end to the other, definitely a waste of money. If you want to use it the same way that I have, I highly suggest doing it. Hey, thanks for y'all spending some time with me and Kiki Girl today. We sure do appreciate it. Hope to see y'all again real soon. Thanks for your comments down below. Bye-bye. Kiki Girl, you got, you got anything you want to say? Huh?